Hello everybody, this is Paul and um, this is Sheila here and what we want to do today is uh, talk to you about kind of an unusual nerve root compression issue that you don't see very often but you really don't want to miss this and so what I am going to do is uh, just talk a little bit about uh, Sheila is 56 years old and about four months ago started to develop some pretty significant neck pain and, uh, and then about two months ago started to develop some discomfort down the arm and you know, weakness in the hand um, and so it's, it's getting harder to do activities, right? Yes. Now you do a lot of lifting where you work? Yes, I do. All right. So one of the things we're trying to do is let her go back to work but not do a lot of lifting at this point. Um, so when we did her cervical spine clearing test, we started with sensation. Sensation is perfectly fine on both sides. I'm going to show you my reflexes, reflex testing on her. So C7, pretty good there. We're going to go to C5. Right here, you can see she has some nice reflexes. Now on this side, she has a decent C7. C5 is not there, and C6 is not there. Now she has had an MRI, and the MRI does show that she has some herniation on the right side to um, the C5 and C6 area, okay? but. Here's the most significant part. We did some manual muscle testing with her to find that, and if you come right in on this, Nikki, you're going to find that she does not hold her hand very well. So try to spread those fingers out. She can't extend her ring finger very well, but watch this for manual muscle testing. I'm going to have her spread those fingers. I can break her real easy. So if like, let's do the thumb and, and pinky. So hold those right apart, and I can collapse her real easy. Let's do it on the other side. Okay, you're going to see how strong she is here. Very strong, very strong. Everything looks great there. So with intrinsic weakness, we have to be wondering about a um, T1 nerve root compression. Well, the MRI, once we got it, did confirm that she does have a uh, fragment in the T1 foramen and uh, giving her some compression. So you can see how weak she is here. Interesting thing about a T1 is that when you do a Sperling's test, Okay, rotating her out, extending and laterally flexing her, it doesn't cause her any pain. The cervical spine compression test doesn't cause her any pain. And she has no loss of sensation on either side, but just significant weakness. Now, as a result, she could have some long-term weakness and long-term nerve damage. So um, we are trying to get her into a neurosurgeon right now and uh, get this uh, issue managed. But the sooner that becomes decompressed, the better the strength will come in that hand and hopefully uh, catch it in time. But T1s are always difficult. Always look for this intrinsic weakness um, and uh, because they can be very disabling if you don't catch them early on. So if you have any questions, uh, hop on to the website. Send me a, a question either on YouTube or through the uh, Ortho Eval Pal website and um, be more than happy to answer those for you. Thanks.